The member for Macquarie. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Marco from Hobartville is 53 and a qualified fitter whose work dried up about a month ago. He says he's been a victim of the government's illegal robo-debt scheme. Marco is cut out of the hiring credit scheme and he isn't eligible for mature worker subsidies yet. How is Marco meant to get ahead when government policy is making it harder for him to get a job? The Treasurer. Well, Mr Speaker, um, as the honourable member knows, the Morrison government has announced a record $507 billion of support, both balance sheet support and direct fiscal support designed to create jobs across the country for members and constituents in that electorate, Mr. Speaker, whatever their age. Now, the job maker hiring credit is focused on those aged 16 to 35, because, as I said to the House prior, that the unemployment rate for those who are aged 15 to 34 is 10.2 per cent. But for those who are aged 35 to 44, the unemployment rate is 4.7 per cent. And we look back at Australia's experience with previous recessions, and particularly the 1990s recession, where it took a full decade to get the unemployment rate back below 6 per cent from where it started. But for younger people, it took a full 15 years to get the unemployment rate back <laughs> below um, the levels from which they started prior to the recession. So, Mr Speaker, we will continue to implement and to legislate the announcements that we made in the budget. Announcements such as the tax cuts, announcements such as the expanded instant asset write-off, the research and development incentives, the loss carryback measures, all already legislated, and the job maker hiring credit from last night. They're all about doing one thing, which is creating jobs across the honourable members' electorate and indeed the electorates represented by all those in this House. The member for Moncrief.